All right, picked up some more steel this morning. <sighs> Tack welded the box together. So just put some sides on. Angles are on. Oh, I didn't have the original box to know what the right size was, so I just made something up that would fit the lithium batteries that I want to get. Uh, if they ever come back in stock. So, t got this tacked up, take it off and finish welding. received a this is a speed controller heat sink um, for the speed controller to wick away the heat off the controller mine was gone uh, so we need to in, install this I'm going to have to tap the holes here in the bottom because they're not tapped and then this will get bolted right back here and speed controller will bolt to that. So.
Okay, now that our holes are tapped, um, let's see if we can bolt this into place where I think it goes. Should be right here. See if everything lines up, put a little Loctite on the bolts. It's a little too hot outside to do uh, welding, so I temporarily put the body on this thing to uh, um, do some other work. Um, so I've already marked out where the headlights need to go. And I'm just going to take the little multi-tool and uh, cut it away. Hopefully it comes out halfway decent. Finally got around to cleaning up this back bumper area. What I realized was this plate here had tabs on it that were bent and then just welded to the back bumper portion. So to fix it, what I'm doing is I took some steel, uh, cut it and uh, made one by two strips and put it in the uh, hydraulic press and in a sketchy kind of way that I wasn't going to show on video I uh, bent them um, so that they fit a little better and uh, I'll continue cleaning this up a little bit and I'll weld those in place the last one over here is still fairly solid uh, and in place so get that welded up and painted and then this section will be done also the wheels and tires have arrived these things are big and so that's the wheel um, they're called vampire 14 inch 
rims with all-terrain tires on them. So I won't be putting those on right away, but a size comparison. There's the original 18-inch outside diameter tire compared to the 23. And then when you stand back from it, you can really see the size difference. Uh, so we'll get going uh, up. What I'll do is I'll stack them up in the corner somewhere, cover them up so they don't get full of dust. In fact, I may even put a coat of wax on them first before I put them away. But, uh, Back to work.